You guys know what happened last time I took this car, right? But I mean, teleportation, I mean, cool. Wait, safety first. Hello? <laughs> Belgrade, hostel, uh, and it's actually not that bad. Let me show you around. That was the cute little hostel we were staying at in the center of Belgrade and by we I mean the choir I sing at which is why I'm wearing this awesome shirt. This trip just happened a couple of days ago we were called to attend the Belgrade choir festival for the first time and we had our hopes up but we thought we were like mediocre because Bosnia compared to Serbia is very tiny so quality is you know unbalanced. This wasn't a big concert or anything it was just a tournament so we had a small hall but it had nice lighting and nice wait let me show you a little bit of how it looked like. <laughs> After all those warm-ups and a lot of waiting, we went out to perform. I know this music isn't to everyone's taste, but it sounded kind of like this. <laughs> We walked away from a solid performance, but we weren't expecting much until this happened. I mean, that was completely unexpected. A choir from Sarajevo comes to Belgrade and takes away the Grand Prix. I mean, check out these reactions. <laughs> Not only did we take away the Grand Prix, but we also won two gold medals, one for best performance in a certain category because there were different categories, and two for best conductor because our conductor is the best. And then we went on to do a small street performance which we agreed on beforehand. Check it out. Everything is cool, but then comes the best part of the day, which is when you go and have dinner. So all in all, an amazing experience, but check out what happened next. One of our sopranos works at a TV station as a host, and we decided in the morning to fill a couple of interviews to send them out to various TV stations and portals when we get back to Sarajevo. I was kind of hesitant because we didn't have a decent location, we didn't have any lighting, I didn't have any decent audio equipment, but I was like, okay, let's do it. Amazingly enough, the host that we were staying at had these kind of lamps in the top that could be turned around so I could actually direct them at the subject. And it actually came out looking pretty good. I mean, look at this, it looks like it has five lights all around shining because of that hair light that goes through his hair and also the light falling on his shoulders makes it look pretty pro. And I even had a spare light to shine down on the table where the prize was for the Grand Prix. Of course, the lights aren't really made for video stuff, so some of the skin tones were really weird and I had to spend a while correcting them, but it came out looking pretty good. I was planning to do some vlog scenes, so I brought my lav mic with me, which I never used, but it came in really handy because check out the amazing bassy sound on some of these clips. 
He is well the small Grand Prix. Mm, nice, I know, right? And it was quite a bit of work that I did for free, but I believe that effort never goes wasted. And afterwards, the director of the NGO who runs this whole choir organization, he asked me if I do work, if I do freelance work, as well as the soprano who works at the TV station. So there's potential there. And the moral of the story I kind of pulled out for myself is always be ready, always have some kind of basic equipment you can work with, because I had my Zoom microphone to record the concert, but I also used it for the interviews. I had my lavalier mic. These are tiny little pieces. They don't take up a lot of space in your bag, but you never know know when you may need them. It's just unfortunate that I didn't bring my 50 millimeter because I didn't think I'd have time to switch around lenses, but it would have come in handy in these shots. And my second lesson is always go out on a limb, give more than you're expected to, and don't ask for things in return because eventually they'll come in full circle and you're gonna get something from it anyway. Also, this package came in the mail. I'm pretty sure it's my ND filters. Die package. These are gonna be fun to play around and experiment with because ND filters, as you know, are an important part of filming. Fancy looking little box. I know what they look like because my friend Addis has the same set. Well, there we go. Smooth. Works. Haha, <laughs> you can't see me, you can see yourself. And now you can see me. <laughs> That's it for today. What can I say? Thank you guys for watching, as always, and I'm gonna see you guys next week. Time to play around with my ND filter. Maybe I can use these. Maybe if I get two of these, I can use them as shades for a really sunny day.